Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to a review of the LEGO High Speed Passenger Train Set number 60051. Oh yeah, one take. Well, three takes, but let's ignore that. So this is one of the two high speed train sets I won at a LEGO auction on June the 3rd, 2017. I am recording this on the same day of me getting it, but this is probably not going to be going up for another couple of weeks, maybe. But it was just so good getting this, it was amazing. And, yeah, I mean, personally, I don't like high-speed trains. I'm more about the steam power. So maybe one day I'm probably going to turn this into something else. I'll probably turn, like, the two ends into another coach. But I do have an idea that I do want your thoughts and opinions on. Because it would be a pretty good idea, if you ask me. So I'm going to go from this end to this end, and then I'll do the station afterwards. Because when I reviewed the Metro Liner, I almost forgot to do the little station area, which is now over there. I've built in the one that came with this high-speed train set, and I'll do that at the end of the video because people want to see the train. That's what that's you know that's what we're here for. So I'm gonna start off with this engine, which is actually different to the other one for a couple of reasons. First of all, this was the side that holds the power functions in. There is the switch up here. I believe this is the sort of thing when you just push down. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear the clicking, but that is the power button being pressed. Now I like that. Personally I would prefer if there was a little like rod or something, like a two stud long rod sticking up so I could just push that down rather than having to do this. But at the same time it's pretty nice. The infrared receiver is there of course but I did not build this with the power functions built in. I've got well I say that I've got the battery there and the infrared receiver there but the motor has been replaced with some mock wheels. So if I, uh, do I try and take it off? No, I'm not, I'm not going to try and take it off because I'll make things worse. But yeah, that's not the motor. That's just bricks built up to replace the motor. And you know, just looking at this shape looks really good. I like this front piece. I'm not going to lie. I do like that. There would normally be a sticker to go there, but I haven't put the stickers on because I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it like this and I'm almost certain I won't. And that kind of links back to what I'm going to say later on about an idea I've got. So, yeah, I mean, we'll get to that in due time. One thing I'm not too fond of is the blandness of it. Now, what do I mean by that? It's, when you look, well, there aren't many stickers that come with a set, okay? But you just look at this and you think, yeah, there's no colour to it. You've got the glass, or, well, yeah, the glass pieces that go along there. You got your white and your grey and your black, but those colours are so similar, it's not really something. The one that um, came out previous, the red train, high speed train, if you know what I'm on about, then you know, good on you. But the problem with that one was, it was too red. I don't think they can ever get the colour right with these high speed trains. But, the, you know, but there's some things I feel like they're holding back on. I'm going to keep referring to this, but the Horizon Express, it was orange, it was vibrant, it was in your face, it was detailed, it sold so well, and it was amazing. They need to start doing that more often with their high-speed trains for the city range. Otherwise, they're not going to be selling as much as they want to. I'm not saying they don't sell, I mean, it's a pretty good set if you ask me. But personally, more to it, please. So we get to the main coach itself. Another thing that I feel LEGO need to do... Sell high-speed train sets with more than one coach. That would be so good. I mean, on it right. Here's the Metro Liner, behind here. There's the club coach for it, okay? That was sold separately, but people knew that when you put it all together, it looks so much better. Without having to buy another Metro Liner set and make some mod changes yourself. It was brilliant! Why don't they make more of these? For other, like, this isn't based on, that's based on something real, and I understand that. It's called Amtrak, I believe. Look it up on Google or Flickr, it's pretty good. But yeah, this, as far as I know, isn't based on, this is just something that LEGO designed themselves. So why don't they just make another one of these, have like two layers, and put that with that? Or even sell that separately so they can put it together? That would be incredible. Uh, it's just so much wasted potential. Right, rant's over, let's go back to the- I can't even take the bloody roof off. Oh, now I can. Aha. So let's have a look inside. 
So we got four seats, which is again the standard for Lego. But at the same time, I've always said, you know, it's only, you can only fit so many people in there. You can get away with five, I believe. I still got the Horizon, not the Horizon, Emerald Knight coach here with me now. So if I take the roof off of that one. Oh, there is only four. Ah, but, no, no, no. You can fit in a fifth. Wait, I just realized something as well. The base is shorter. Oh, for God's sake. Well, I'm going to look like a right swat now. Great. Let's move on, shall we? So, going back to the interior, there isn't actually much else to this. I mean, now trains, yeah, nowadays your high-speed trains would have some special details, like maybe a loo or a cafe in them. Or just something to, like, break up the boringness of it. But there's nothing in this. And it's not even focusing. Christ, this camera is shit. But even, like, I'll go back to the Metroliner again. I'm going to bounce back between this set, the Metroliner, and the Horizon Express. But it's going to be a bit unfair talking about the Horizon Express because of how detailed and high quality the set is as a whole. But even in this older set, there are much more details. Like here, in this bit, there's a little cafe there and there's a person ordering some food. If we go to the other end, there are two beds there, double-decker or bunk beds. Oh, still, I'm going to keep saying that, but oh well. You know, there's two people there sleeping. Where's that detail in here? They haven't done that. It's starting to get a bit lazy. This is why I didn't want to get the high-speed trains, because there's nothing to them. It's really wasted potential. And again, just looking at this on its own, like a standalone coach, even with or without the two engine pieces, it's so bland. There's nothing to it. The red stripe that goes along there, I don't think you probably even noticed that until now, but the red stripe that goes along there, it's not enough. You need more colour to it. Personally, white goes with either green, red, or blue. You've got some red, okay, fair enough, but put some more red in it. Like another stripe going along the top, maybe, I don't know. But blue or green, something more brighter, more vibrant, would look amazing. And then we get to the second engine, and this is the one that isn't motorized. But, if you really wanted to, you can copy the instructions from this end of the model, and put it to this end of the model. There's plenty of space for it, there's nothing stopping you. And this is the one, this is the wheel set that actually does come with the set that you have to build up to like fill the gap of the motor if you know what I mean but looking at this you know it's just it's, it's I don't know what word I want to use to be honest because again there's just so much potential with these high speed train sets but nothing ever really gets done which is a real shame because they could ship so more and I really do want them to succeed well not as if they're not succeeding now but you know it's it's really sad to be honest Right, that is everything on the train done and done. I need to make sure there has nothing I've missed. I'll tell you what though, because it's a review, putting these big pieces on was a fucking nightmare. There's like little pieces that bend inwards here and you've got to snap something in place that's inside there and I got my finger caught in it, it still bloody hurts. Gee, you know, just... These are supposed to be sets that kids will play with. You know, £100, you know, you kids aren't going to be buying it. But, you know, Lego have their focus groups, you know, focused on kids. So, make sure they're not relying on your parents so much to snap their fingers whilst they're doing this. Not nice, it's not fun. And, yeah, I think that's the only thing I can really say. I'm also, tell you what, speaking of which, I'm not a fan of one big bulky piece. But the one thing I really... I started to dislike, but eventually got used to it and really liked the idea of it, was with the red high-speed train that came be I think it was the one that came before this one, maybe one or two seasons ago, was the front piece was a bunch of red slopes and an actual, like, window piece that you had to push down like that. So it was about level with that. And I thought, that was so cool. And again, the Horizon Express, you had to build the front up, not some shitty one-block piece you put on the end. You build it up. Where did that go? <sighs> oh well. Let's move on to the last item 
of the day and go to the station. They are getting smaller and smaller, but understandable. There are a lot of points, um, not points, curves and straights around there. It's a shame that it came with points because I would have made it a lot cooler. But with these sets, you know, you can only fit so much track in the box as well. But at the same time, making the box a little bit thicker or wider to put some more pieces of track in there, you can do that. There was more, again, Metroliner had more track pieces than this. And it had more room to fit in the bloody motors and the controller and the battery thing you've got to plug in. The boxes are about the same size. Where's all the fucking space for all that? It's got power functions, yes, but come on. It's so compact. Oh my, it just, uh, it's set. I'm triggered right now. You know, I, I think I need to go to bed after this. So, if you actually go and look at the station itself, it's just one platform. There's nothing special going on there. The only nice thing I like is this. And this is another one of those pieces where it shows, like, the map of all the tracks. It says what time trains are coming and going, which is actually pretty cool. I, I also have another level crossing, which I'm not saying is a bad thing. I have another one up on another cabinet, and I would like to put this along with that one to make a longer one. It's pretty good. I do like that. And I think this design in particular is pretty good. So that's probably one of the few positive things I have to say about this uh, set. So as a whole, if you were ever thinking about getting this but didn't get it, you did the right thing. Try and invest in getting one of the older sets, like the LEGO system ones. There was like, there was this one, the Metroliner. There was like a black and yellow one, which was like a cargo thickman. That was so good. Like, I went around a friend's house, like, I don't talk to him anymore, sadly, but he had one of those before he got rid of it. It was so cool. But, you know, just that sort of thing. Where's the themes gone? It's all the same boring mush now. Which is, again, so sad, but it was so good. There was another one that was white and blue and was more like, like a space theme, like super fast idea. And it was, you know, amazing. But that sort of thing doesn't stick around anymore, which is a bit annoying. But, you know, I can't really change LEGO's opinions because some nerd on the internet says, I don't like this, bring it back, girl. No. Okay. I think that'll do for now. I'm going to have to get these videos all ready for when they actually go up. So thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you have not already. Actually, uh, do I... You know what, it's too late. I'll do it in its own video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.